hello all of us i hope you all are doing that so today we are going to learn about the import process of audio we will uh, create a new record using the import or we can update the existing record using the import so some people doesn't know about the update of record using the import script so we will focus on the create and update record so let's say we will work on the product so let's say i have a record and if i don't know how to import or export the product so it is very easy let's say if we consider this product and uh, if i go to the list view i select the product and we need to export the product first to know about the so let's say i have selected the skills and export format as xls now i will export so here you will find how it is called so here the column name means the field name of the record and value right so let's say this is the name of the product so now if i want to create a product using the import so let's say if i add a new product let's say this is the internal reference name of the product sales price 100 post 50 let's say i fill this field and now if i import that product Again, here you can see the internal reference number, name, sales price, cost automatically detected and set the columns. So now we will check the that our script is correct or not. So everything seems valid. Now click on import. Here I will check my product name. Yes, it's imported correctly. Right now it is very easy to import the fields means the record now if we want to update the record let's say here if i want to update the sales price but here let's say we have you know, hundreds of products and we, we need to update the sales price so it is very difficult to manually change so we can do one thing we can select the products to update and click on export here you can select the fields to update but now we need to carefully uh, add one field external id this is the field which uh, holds the external unique id of the record and it will be very useful in our case to uh, update the record so we will export this record now here you can see this is the external id and let's say now i if i need to change the update price to 150 i click on save and if i import again that record is file you can see here 150 and click on test yes everything seems good now you can see sales price updated so you can uh, import a file to create or update any records it is very easy way